point one system. Five judges, one referee. Scoring system machine will randomly select three out of the five judges before the start of each bout. And only the scores given by these judges will be counted. Please welcome to the ring from Hussar's Fallout, Teddy Yakachinsky. So our opener for this first leg. From Poland, Team Hussars, David Jagodzinski. 20 years of age, comes in at 162 centimetres, unseeded in the WSB. Fighting out of the red corner. is Kabande Rasi. Please welcome to the red corner from a Russian boxing team, Tavi Arapita. For Russia, David Arapitaian. He took bronze at the 2012 London Olympics. 30 years of age. That's interesting because 30 years plays 20. Polish fighter, Patian, a seasoned, seasoned fighter. Comes to this with good, good experience. And, uh, a national champion. And Patian will be looking right from the get-go to put Team Russia on the map. David Arapatian of Russia. So this first leg and season opener. Five three-minute rounds at light flyweight. That's 46 to 49 kilograms. Introducing first, finding out of the blue corner. Ему 20 лет, рост 162 сантиметра, вес 49 килограммов. 20 years old, he stands 162 centimeters tall, with a visual weight 49 kilograms. Дамы и господа, ladies and gentlemen, from Hussars Poland, David Yagachinsky. He was a very красный углу ринга, and his opponent fighting at the red corner. Бойцу 39 лет, вес 49 килограммов. 30 years old, official weight 49 kilos. His commander Rassi from Russian boxing team, Davi Arapita. Isudaram Gonga, Bash Referee Vrindi. And while the bell rings, your referee in charge, Stefan Nordin. So, from Sweden, referee tonight, John Stefan Nordin for this 46 key bout. Our judges. Of course, only three will be randomly selected by the scoring machine to give us our scores. Round one of five. So, Jagodzinski trying to control the centre. He's going to have his work cut out against Anapatia. Arapatian, as I said, a bronze medalist at the London Olympics, a national champion. So both fighters just have a little feel for things. Jagodzinski on the receiving end of some very good solid connections there from Arapatian. Arapatian fighting Southport. And that left hand of the Russian already causing a problem for Jagodzinski. No, 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 
Kaczynski. Trying to put the Russian under pressure. Good lateral movement from Jagodzinski. Slipping a lot of what Arapachan is throwing, but catching a lot as well. That left hand of Arapachan, very cheeky. Great lateral movement, the Russian. Just shifting his weight, off footing. Jagodzinski. Jagodzinski still determined to dominate the centre of the ring. Still very smooth action from both men, but with just under half a minute left in this first round. Well, the Olympian from Russia looks very much to have taken control of this. So trying to have the last word, Jagodzinski. And although he brought the action, it looked very much to me as if Arapatian was in firm control throughout that round and started to loosen up particularly towards the latter part. So a tail of the tape, and we can see Adapatian working upstairs and downstairs, coming from the head to the body. Jagodzinski taking a good few clean, crisp shots. Interesting to see how the judges have scored it. Still looking very relaxed, relaxed Arapatan. So, in favor of the Russian, 10 9 across the board. So, first round goes to David Arapatan. Great connection with the right hand from Arapatan. Well, some heat on these shots now from the Russian. His confidence has grown. <laughs> they called this group the group of death because of the competition. Russia gained huge experience in season three. Comprised of strong, strong fighters. The British team Hussars. Well, new kids on the block. In fact, uh, their coach Hubert Migazal, one of the youngest coaches coaching in WSB at 34 years of age. The word round the campfire is that Russia is the unknown quantity here. And even though Cuba has entered the competition, <laughs> Astana, the other wicked group to be careful of. It is Russia that's being talked about. This is good work from Jagodzinski. Trying to come back, trying to find his pace here. Good right hand, and he's making the connections now. Oh, 
Jeszcze raz, Adatacian. Jak Eased off the gas here in the second after having established himself in the first. Under a minute left. Cole knows he needs to make ground and he's really bringing the fight to Arapatian. Arapatian. It's great work from the young Russian, but credit to uh, Dawid Jagodzinski. Judges may just tip this in his favour. There's the ten second clapper. Very close. Very close. Trying to have the last say, Jagodzinski, again at the end of the round. Arapachian in cruise mode. But a much stronger round for Dawid Jagodzinski. And it's faultless work from the pole. But he still gets caught. And it's just the timing that Aratatan brings to this. Just finds the holes in the guard, just fires the shots in. So let's see what the judges have to say. Well, interesting. One found in favour of Jagodzinski. But still a win to Dawid Arapetian. So going into the third, still a lot to play for. Round three. From the Russian boxing team, David Arapatian. From the Hussars, Poland, David Jadgodzinski. At this moment in time, Arapatian, two rounds up, going into round three. Still, the pressure on the young pole, now Jagodzinski, to make the headway here. Experience versus youth here. Russian, 30 years of age. Pole, just 20. So a legion effort from this young man. Well, the inside work from Arapache and the Russian, absolutely exemplary. And then when he works at range, <coughs> cheaply slips <coughs> and counters so quickly. <coughs> slips that hard body shot with the left. Now with Jagodzinski got a big right hand there, but a uh, bit slow. <coughs> Arapatian trying to open him up, and uh, Jagodzinski tightened up that guard. So some real weight going behind these big shots. Left hand finding its mark again from Arapatian. Half a minute left in round three of this five rounder. 
the opening bout for both these teams here at the WSB. Close of the round. Very strong round again for the Russian, David Arapatian. And uh, there will be a tipping point. And this round is, is crucial for the pole to stay in. Tail of the tape here. Desperately trying to get the hands down. Jagodzinski working downstairs, but Arapatian very quick with that counter as soon as he goes to work. Well, interestingly enough, it's 10-9, 10-9 from two judges for Dawid Jagodzinski of the Hussars Poland. Round four. That throws this bout wide open and keeps the pole in the competition. So another crucial round here at four. He's been relentless in his work, Jagodzinski. It really has. And in fact, uh, Arapatian, very much the same. Firing off the counter there. On his toes in four. And starting to give us an exhibition of class world boxing. Jagodzinski desperately trying to close that ring down. But, uh, once he starts to move. And that's what just makes him such a difficult opponent because toe-to-toe, uh, -to -toe, close up, and Apachan finds the cracks. But at range, well, he becomes an even more formidable target and opponent when he's on the move. Just over a minute left in round four. And the exchange is fairly even. Just over half a minute left, round four. <coughs> Still, David Arapatian of Russia controlling this. Well, starting to miss quite a bit now as a little bit of fatigue sets in for David Jagodzinski. Herculean workload. Stop. And a Pachan, ice cool. So starting to work on the right eye of David Jagodzinski, the uh, manager Hubert figures out. And we look at the slow mo. Uh, interestingly enough, Jagodzinski making inroads, but it just looks like an uphill struggle for the young Polish fighter. Let's see how 
the judges saw it. Well, a full house in favour of the Russian. So, Adapatian surging ahead. Three rounds to one. So, fifth and final. From Russia, David Adapatian from the Russian boxing team. And from Poland, representing the Hussars, David Jagodzinski. Unless we see something spectacular in the performance of David Jagodzinski of Poland. I think we can be fairly confident that uh, the performance so far from David Arapatian has put him in very, very good stead. Well, Poland entered this competition, deemed the underdogs, young, unknown team, but everything to play for. Last year, 2012-2013, was the debut season for the Hussars. And they had one of the smallest squads in the World Series of Boxing. However, the Hussars qualified for the playoffs despite the odds. So no obvious star boxers. The Hussars work together very well as a team. This is a, a decent opener. Flyweight, 46 to 49 keys. But just looking at the form of David Arapatian, a considerable bridge to cross and possibly one that might be too far for David Yagodzinski. Big right hand comes over the top. But he's caught every time by Arapatian. And uh, the fixed smile of Arapatian as he goes about his work. Just that look of confidence. Almost of somebody who's completely enjoying their work. And you know what they say, if you enjoy what you do, you never work a day in your life. And David Arapatian looks very much that man. So 10 seconds left in the fifth and final round. The exchange is starting to heat up now. But Arapatian asserting himself and having the last word. So we need an official announcement after we've had the score from the judges. So in that last round, Jagodzinski try to step it up, try to put some heat and some hench behind those punches. Arapatian, well prepared, wasn't going to be ambushed. Saw it all coming. And he had uh, well, what I would describe as a very elegant answer for the young pretender. David Jagodzinski. So we wait for the official scores from the judges. This, of course, the opening season for the World Series of Boxing. And the opening leg for these two teams, the Russian boxing team and the Polish Hussars. We're coming to you from St. Petersburg. The SPB Arena. Referees happy. Uh,
Первый судья Джордж Гуа, 48-47, 48 48-47. Второй судья Джордж Ту, 49-46, 49-46. И третий судья Джордж Фри, 48-47, 48-47. Таким образом, единогласным решением судей победу одержал and your winner by unanimous decision from the red corner Tommy Aratita so, 48-47 49-46 48-47 from Judge A, B and C the winner by unanimous decision for the Russian boxing team David Arapatia so the Russians slip one ahead. There's the judges' final result. Judge Jose del Puerto, Alicia Alataev, and Alan Rus. 48 47 for Cuba, 49 46 Kazakhstan. Finland found it 48 point.